course, against nine on the Quop. Uh, the panel already kind of talked about it, John. The Puck will be that kind of nuisance towards the Quop later on once you do have a Dream Coil up. Uh, during the laning phase, though, do you do you kind of give the advantage to one hero or the other? There's some outplay potential for Xantic here as long as he uses his phase shift well. You can dodge out the dagger, you can dodge out the scream of pain. And Nine's going to have to just watch his spell usage. It's a lot harder for the puck to apply constant harassment, though. And that is one thing that I think that Quap really just struggles. If you can't constantly land your illusory orbs to harass, your right-click trades with a Quap is all right. Some changes, or rather the recent buffs, but... Now the recent buffs, people start to believe in the hero. And look at this. Jump in on Shad. He's out of mana. Ooh. There's your blood grenade out. And Shad may as well be as good as dead as he is just going to go down in Hakoda. Still just trying to fight Saksa. We'll throw the blood grenade himself. Saksa is going to tick out. But the problem is Hakoda may have just given a double kill to 33. Do you see Nine being shoved out? Again, a lot, a lot of back and forth. This does give a lot of room for Xantic. Or Divine. And that is a good launching point. Uh, Divine Lama, he, he's kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. Thea Lacor's going to try and show up with a blinding light, but it's not going to be enough. Snakey. I mean, he had the purifying flames if he needed it anyway. Nakoda could glimpse him back. Is not going to have the range for it, so the charge does connect. Sucks of those. Gone pretty far. Glimpses back into the T1 tower. Sucks is still alive somehow, but eventually they will chip away and secure the kill. Nice pick off here for D1. The same thing, I would not stop. Divine Lama, bottom lane, gonna go for the charge in. Or rather, the jump in onto Divine. The Skinner should have his way with him. I mean, it's just so many Fury swipes. This 33 is gonna take another double kill. 33 is trying to provide that vision. Chad is gonna get spotted. He is as good as dead, I believe, as he is out of mana. He's... Yeah, he's, uh, he's gone. It's. It... I saw a picture once. It was a me. Ah, it is Skinner. True. That is true. The Lava gonna get jumped again. His HP pool's about to look like a meme here, John. The Underlord gonna get locked down and Skinner will take care of him. No problem. Oh, screw that. that it, it, he doesn't look oh, tanky at all. But that's the Vanguard up as well. Oh. oh. It could be perfect timing if the Lama goes to have a look. They're so close, yet so far, they'll go after the T1 tower, but Roshan is now taken. Nope, your smoke just breaks. You can't find the angle comfortably. Oh, nice yeah. glimpse back. That's a perfect glimpse from Hakoda. Quick on the fingers. Gonna catch him mid-blink. At least Shad does have the full Manta up now. Nine, skin up. They're gonna find him. Shad is just getting destroyed. Jeez. I mean, this, this Ursa, I feel the core. Everyone's going to be just fine here from Tundra. They do successfully disengage as Devi was spotted there by Skidder, who wants to jump in. He found three targets. He's just He's... jumping right into the Static Storm. He could not care less about it. The Lacor also getting caught. Should just drop the oh. Xantic. He's doing a lot of damage here to the Ursa, but it's not enough. The False Promise will come in. Stonegate's popped by Shad, actually petrifying quite a few of them. Tundra, they could finally be in trouble, but it doesn't really seem like it. They're all still very healthy. They're trying for snaking. A huge sonic wave in the backside from Nine, gonna catch two of them. Divine Lama, dropping too low, should go down to the Underlord. Meanwhile, Thela Kord, Shad, both caught out. They'll leave the Cod be. They'll go after Shad instead. In fact, I say that. Thela Kord is also gonna go down. It's basically a full team IP for Tundra. Stationary. Well, when you pick CM, huh? you're just playing a tower. Oh. Play that. oh, no. Unlucky. Walked right into the Devil's Den. Divine Lama showing mid lane, but all oh, Shad. Shad is the bigger target. Manta, he's going to get a very nice one off. He's trying to juke with the Manta Illusion. The Nether Strike will be committed onto that Illusion. And now they will realize that they got outplayed here by Shad. Oh. Still, Nine's jumped in. They are still going after illusions here on the Dusa. It's Nine getting very, very aggressive with the Shadow Strikes being committed. Keep in mind, he does have the eggs up on the Quop, so these Shadow Strikes do a lot of damage. I was expecting Skidder to jump in. Problem is, though, Skidder has a Diffusal Blade, and well, the Divine Lama, he's just not out of the woods yet. He's gone. Hakoda wanting to join his dead teammate, even 33. Oh, Shad, he's been caught out by the Familiars. He jumped right in the middle. Oh, boy. 
I mean, this might be a GG call coming, Johnny. It's been a very rough game, a very rough series for D1 Hustlers. Mind you, they are the kind of team that just wants to play it out all the way to the end, so they might hold out, but no, oh. they call it. GG. It, it's too one-sided. Like, you know you're not coming back with your Medusa this far behind. 